Hi Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and the new year is treating you amazingly so far. We're going to jump straight into a general reading for your sign. As always, disclaimer, it may or may not resonate. So just take whatever resonates and drop the rest. All right, let's get into it for you. 77 could be significant Libra or the number seven. Some of you have got a message of apology coming in from someone that you felt was childish. The Chariot to the Page of Cups to the Page of Wands. I feel like with the Four of Cups you might not be interested or this person may feel like you don't want to hear what they have to say. That's a side note for someone here. Others of you are strategizing with the Magician. You've got all your tools that you need to hand. I see that you are utilizing your skill set and planning for the future. Talents, I'm hearing. Using your talents. Yeah, to create um, fortune and favour. Wheel of Fortune card here. Some of you could, again, be tapping into certain abilities. Yeah. Manifesting. Changes. Long-term changes. There's some sort of judgment here taking place, whether you're judging somebody at this time, Libra, or whether the divine is giving you some kind of um, an awakening energy. With the seven of wands, I see you standing your ground on something, potentially blocking out other energies. You're doing this quite quickly with the seven of wands to the eight of wands. Because you look, you look to be going within there's been a light that's been shone on something it could be from something from the past or someone from your past here with the six of cups just in zero two zero two on the clock that will resonate for some of you your ghosting situations i feel blocking people that are not helpful not supportive i'm getting Moving forward to collaborations where you are going to receive generous, generously from others or where there is a balance of energy. That's exactly what's happening, especially with the six of coins to the temperance card. You could feel a need to move towards balancing out your scales, a period of equilibrium here. You're definitely seeking reciprocity at this time, and this could be in relation to work. For some of you, six of coins with the three of coins. So I'm hearing for some of you, you want people to pull their weight in organisations where you feel like potentially there's a lack of effort, energy. Some people could be doing a lot more of the work than others. And I see you shining a light on this. I'm hearing lazy employees for some of you here. Yeah, some of you have closed it out, closed out cycles or collaborations with people with the death card. You could have moved on from a particular organisation here. All right, one more side note and we'll move into the main reading for Libra. Yeah, you could have energies around you that are distraught, I'm hearing, or taken aback, upset at some sort of hard ending, disappointment. And for others of you, there's been heartbreak in the relationship dynamic. Could have been with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, doesn't have to be. You could be this um, king of coins, this uh, father figure, provider. Yeah, for some of you, there's like a stalemate energy taking place in your relationship where you're not sure how to proceed with it. There seems to be a lack of clarity to the situation, confusion even. All right, those are the side notes. Let's jump into your reading now. Clear and accurate messages for Libra. Clear and accurate messages for Libra. What do the collective need to know at this time? High Priestess in the reverse. What else, please? Cards are flying out today, Libra. The Three of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Okay. Where is this going? The Six of Cups. 
What else, please, Spirit, for Libra? Five of Pentacles. One more, please. And the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Five of Cups. All right, so there's a lot of emotional energy in this spread straight off the bat. And there's also something coming through with regards to action. But I feel with the wand energy, I feel like it's a lack of action. We'll get clarity because with the three of wands, for some of you, you've been patiently waiting to take action on something or waiting for your ships to come in. For others of you, there's something coming up with regards to worrying about money a scarcity at this time or a lack in terms of emotions emotional connection all right let's clarify because with this high priestess in reverse there could be some sort of inner wisdom that is trying to present itself to you and you could be missing it why is the high priestess in reverse here for Libra, please the high priestess in reverse for Libra. I've just seen the devil card. Yeah, that someone isn't listening to their intuition. Look at that. High Priestess again. Someone isn't listening to their intuition when it comes to a particular situation. It could be pertaining to toxic um, work colleagues here or some sort of an establishment, corporation I'm hearing. Something is coming up as, or someone is coming up as possibly associating with negative energies and you may still be in this group dynamic knowing that something isn't right here and that you potentially need to move on my priestess in reverse please for libra thank you yeah some of you you feel stuck 0707 on the clock as i said that once again 77 is significant for someone here or seven there's some sort of a battle battle of wills taking place people could be arguing with each other fighting with each other when it comes to a workplace and you could feel stuck in the middle or you could feel tied to this place maybe because you have commitments responsibilities bills to pay spirit could also be saying that you are in a stuck place i'm i'm here in sunken place for some of you um because you are not following your intuition on how to proceed here what else with the king of swords why is this here, please? You are overthinking something here, Libra. You've got the King of Swords to the Two of Wands. I feel like you could be overthinking a decision. And the fact, okay, analysis paralysis is also what I'm getting. And the fact that you're overthinking something is causing you to take no action, no action at all. So you could be repeating what feels like a very tumultuous cycle. I'm also hearing crabs in a barrel. So you could be in an environment where people don't want other people to excel. You could be in an environment where people are trying to hold each other back, compete, cause conflict in some way, shape or form. There could be something to do with management here, Libra, for whoever I'm reading for. Why is the three of wands here, please, for Libra? Yeah, you seem to be patiently waiting for your ships to come in with regards to some sort of work employment opportunities some of you are patiently trying to build something behind the scenes you have got your eye on the prize with this queen of swords energy i feel like you're focused for some of you but some of you aren't using your intuition on the on the situation that's got you stuck that's what i'm getting what else please okay two of cups here some of you could be trying to be patient with a connection, it could be with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, with his Queen of Pentacles energy, it doesn't have to be. You could be patiently waiting for your person of interest to come in for you. And this could be no one, no one in particular, but there could just be this patience for you waiting for your, your significant other to come in. Some of you have been waiting for your ships to come in in romantic, um, in the romantic area of your life for a while. Why is the Nine of Wands here, please? Mm, all right. Spirit keeps on wanting to emphasize this Three of Pentacles energy. 
There is something to do with an organisation. Keeps on coming up. Or there could have been a relationship dynamic and someone could have introduced a third party here. Or there's some kind of external influences impacting your connection. It will be different for everyone. So put yourself where you fit. Nine of Wands. Why is this here, please, for Libra? Nine of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles coming out in the in the reverse. I would say semi-struggle, but more the reverse. And then you've got the Six of Swords here. Some of you are tired. And your stamina. Or there's something coming up with regards to your stamina waning. Feeling as though you are going through it. Going through a period of setbacks possible roadblocks and obstacles to, to um okay thank you i'm getting roadblocks and obstacles on your way to this nine of pentacles energy being self-sufficient independent possibly financially free here you could some of you have been working all the hours that are sent in order to be your own boss and you could feel like emotionally and physically it's draining and you may also feel like you haven't seen your results as yet some of you with the six of swords energy are trying to sail away into calmer waters and for others of you then there's something to do with a mindset change that's needed some of you could again i'm getting um could feel like when is my time like why isn't this come in for me yet why am i still hustling and i feel like you're being encouraged to stay away from any negative thoughts that don't serve you with regards to this situation it could have taken a while to close out harsh cycles but i feel like the longer you're going to wait the better the blessing's going to be why is the six of cups here please six of cups for Libra. some of you are reminiscing on some sort of connection or relationship dynamic from the past and with the five of cups you perceive there to be spilt cups in this situation yeah spilt cups and possible conflict and drama opposition you've got 55 here so you're definitely going through changes and some of you may feel like i'm hearing rough with the smooth some of you may feel like you're going through particularly um challenging things right now but this isn't going to last because I feel like 55, 5, you've got new changes coming in with regards to your emotional, um, yeah, emotional stability and emotional connections. Based after something hasn't worked out here and there's some sort of disappointment, remorse and regret. This could be coming from someone that you previously dated or this could be how you're relating to someone else. Why is the five of pentacles here, please? Five of Pentacles with the Tower and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so I am picking up for some of you here. There's a real emphasis on money matters, on your materialism. You could have come to the realisation quite abruptly that people do not give to you equally. What you put in, you do not get out. For some reason, for some of you, this is coming up as shocking because you might have felt like this has been the case for some time, but there's been an illumination here that people don't want to support you or they don't want to help you in some way, shape or form. Yeah, some of you are fast moving towards a new job, new employment opportunities where you feel like, where you feel like you are going to be given your value, given what you're worth monetary wise, um, time wise other people investing in you because you don't feel like you're getting it at this point you feel like you're on a back foot for whoever I'm reading for why is the two of cups here please for Libra yeah and I'm getting something for some of you here with regards to a relationship um, but it's the two of cups is clarified with the seven of swords and I've just seen the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. So there seems to be some sort of petty drama 
back and forth arguments taking place in the connection where someone has potentially been deceptive, has tried to conceal some sort of truth here, whether this is from you, Libra, but your intuition with the High Priestess to the Page of Swords is telling you that somebody here has been wearing a false mask, someone here has been false in a relationship with you, painting themselves out to be one thing, when in reality they are another, they are deceptive. Yeah, and with the Five of Cups, for some of you, there seems to be an emotional void here now. Just split the deck on the death card. You could have ended this free, free, free on the clock, as I just said that. All right, I'm going to end it there, Libra. If it's resonated in any way, shape or form, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back in another video. Namaste.